this is really shocking and it's surprising to a lot of people the way things are going you know that uh, these politicians the way they do their things it's it's baffles one and the way they go about their things the more you look the less you see you cannot even trust them at all but nigerians are just watching them that now play the day this fight between tinubu and erufai and erufai is beginning to suspect that uh, it's like Tinubu is playing him. That how can you say you nominated him? And some people are coming out to say, oh, because of security, this, because of security, that. Of course, it's not the only person that has been affected. There are just three, and the two people are not even, we're not even hearing much from them. Maybe because uh, Erufa is a controversial person and also is a very popular figure. So that's why the whole thing is really centered on him. Really centered on him. So Nigerians are just watching whether they are playing, whether they are trying to deceive Nigerians and what have you. But unfortunately, according to what we've heard, Erufai has really withdrawn from uh, to be a minister under Buhari. I, under Tinubu, rather. I saw a video where Tinubu was begging, of course, Tinubu was begging Erufai to work with him. Because right from time, Erufai already said he wanted to go and further his education and what have you but Tinubu begged him in the presence of the old world that please stay with us this and this and that so how can you not turn around and say this and that and you know that is to tell you the mindset of a Tinubu see even if a Tinubu is even innocent of this that some people are trying to say no this man cannot be screened because of a lot of allegations of course we, a lot of things, we have seen a lot of things that he has done those who are challenging Erufai, that Erufai, you know what? Mm -mm. You are you, you, what you have done is not right. Which everybody, everybody, and everyone is aware of. They are not. They are not. Uh, it's not really trying to win. Chant. It is really evident. Why should Tinubu nominate such people? We have a lot of them. Kiyamu, even the Senate President Tinubu himself, we see better off. Now they are standing. So the offense of Erufai is more than that of Tinubu. That. Uh, He's been allowed to be in Nassau Rock as the president. So this uh, oh Wahala, according to what we heard again, after Wednesday's meeting, Erufai said he wanted to see Tinumbu privately, but he declined it. <laughs> mm. Some people will be thinking that, and you want to believe this? Uh, because we know the role Erufai played for Tinumbu to become uh, president. Well, you know, some people said oh, it was a lie that it was all of a sudden that he tried to align with Tinumbu because Erufai was aligning with uh, this man, Amechi. And um, it was a she was and who said it that forget all this uh, nonsense. Uh, I service that say uh, Erufai is trying to put up as if uh, he really works for Tinumbu, but at least from what we have seen, he works for Tinumbu, whether he works for. Amechi, or he was supporting Amechi, nobody knew. It was a she was only that said that well, they know themselves. But from what we can see, fish and you know, as face value, we know the role he played. You know, he said he was trying to hey the same Kaba Kaba that uh, Erufai was fighting for so that the Tinubu could become president, according to what he did. Now another Kaba now fighting against him. So how is he gonna go about it? And for Erufai, it feels that uh, Tinubu has really embarrassed him. If you know that you have uh, some secret grudges against him, then why did he nominate him in the first place? You know, don't forget, when Buhari came on second term in 2019, after the election, about one week after, Erufai, if you can remember vividly, Erufai went to Lagos and told Lagos people that, you know what, how you can defeat a godfather. <laughs> I don't know whether those are the things that uh, Tinubu is trying to put up together or maybe he knew quite well that Erufai was supporting Amechi before the primaries, APC primaries. Only God knows. But how can Tinubu be feigning ignorance? We have people who are worse than Erufai and they screen them. So why is Erufai zone different? That is why Erufai is just like, what is going on here? What is going on here? According to a news that was published by the leadership, paper online it was reported that a, a top source in the presidency who spoke under the condition of anonymity has revealed the outcome of the meeting 
that was held between the former governor of Kaduna State, Madam Nasi Rufai, and President Bolami Tinumbu earlier in the week, recorded as some days ago. The Senate refused, of course, to uh, confirm Air Rufai as a minister due to security check, and days after Air Rufai visited Tinumbu at the presidential villa in Abuja, as he did not reveal the purpose of the meeting. Due to this development, Nasi Rufai reported that situation to the president on Tuesday has the president promised to inter investigate the matter in 24 hours. And on Wednesday, when the 24 hours the last, Rufai and his power reform team were to meet with the coincidentally. This meeting had already been fixed before Tinubu promised 24 hours while speaking with Erufai on Tuesday, in order to finalize some agreements they reached during the previous meeting as regarded the power sector. The source, while giving the outcome of the meeting, said, but surprisingly, at the meeting, the president allegedly began to query some of the things they had agreed on weeks ago about the bringing of gas under the same roof with power and to be renamed the Federal Ministry of Energy and other reform initiatives. Hmm. You can't be like sitting in the book on the be like a television window clear. <laughs> it seems seems the appointment appointing authority has had a change of mind. Hence, all the avoidable drama that's dodged the screening and confirmation. It was reported at the end of the meeting. Erufai asked President Bola Metinubu if he could see him one on one in respect of the other matter. Senate screening that the president said he would get back to him on the previous day. The source said after Wednesday meeting, Erufai said he wanted to see Tinubu privately, but he, Tinubu, declined it. The president reportedly said he wanted to see some persons who were waiting for him and that the director of protocol would call him to schedule another meeting with him. More information made it known that sources close to Erufai said he was already at the verge of rejecting the ministerial offer that was given to him and as a prelude, Aerofi has reportedly submitted the curriculum vital of a senator from Cardona State as a replacement for him since Cardona State has no representative in the soon to be composed Federal Executive Council. <laughs> mm. Okay. Aerofi should not be issued a country Nigeria. A jihadist, fanatic, religious by gods must be stopped for our media's conversation. President is more important than a terrorist who do not even regard his superior. A man that cannot respect the former president, Obasan Joyarado, Jonathan Ambuari, speaking abusive ways to his elders, who is he in this country? Being in power does not even mean that he is more important than the nation. A man that doesn't even obey the law and constitution of the land. Evil that men do live among them. We are waiting time with say waiting for what where? Is this the same Erufai that was a governor of Kaduna State? I've been another person. And the same person the one that fought a Kaba during the Emefele Nara redesigning and all of that. We're talking about Kaba in another Kabana condition and pepe. Who is he going to meet now? Maybe he's just playing safe. Erufa is a dangerous person. How dangerous? Well, dangerous in speeches and actions. A man that boasts about the demise of another is dangerously dangerous. Hey, we heard this from uh, Eru, uh, Sani. Whether he said it, I didn't know. Maybe a lot of people heard that. All these guys did not know Erufa. Even Tinubu himself cannot even dare Erufa. Who is Akwabio? He can dismantle all of you. In that house, he doesn't have the power again. He is now in the, in the dark. Both, uh, why is Bola Tinubu humiliated a refile like this? Kai, what did you want to call your brother Buhari? If President Tinubu is a rattlesnake, you people should leave Tinubu alone to do the jobs, things he has for this country. Or, are you going to tell me that say, you like all what really happened in Kaduna when Erufai was the governor? But when Erufai was running up and down, all of you were like, ah, yes, Erufai arranged all, because we don't even know between Erufai and Ganduji who now 
who was the real leader that made Tinubu who he is today. So guys, and also we say, Amo, let's hear your opinion. We don't want to bore you too much. You know all the stories, but let's keep our finger crossed and know what will happen at the end of the day.